Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on today. So let's see what's going on, y'all. Okay. Spirit, please give us clear and accurate messages. One of the messages that I need to share with the collective One more shuffle, y'all. We're going to see what's going on here. So we have the Four of Cups here, okay? Um, you all could be receiving some type of offer, proposition, proposal of some kind. Um, it may be kind of, it may be a small offer. But it's some type of offer, proposition, or proposal nonetheless, okay? Um, we have the High Priestess here. I definitely feel like whatever this, whatever it is that you're being offered or is being proposed to you, um, you're definitely going to be using your intuition, listening to your intuition, following that wisdom as it relates to the situation here, okay? Sure, what else is going on? So I'm seeing the six of coins here. Several other cards flipped over here. Some of you all could be getting a marriage proposal. Okay, if you are dating someone. Okay. Um, somebody could be, there could be some type of gift of generosity that's going on. Some type of giving and receiving type of energy. Okay. This could be charity. This could be donation. You're receiving some type of offer. That I definitely feel like you're going to listen to your intuition about as it relates to some type of generosity of some kind here, okay? I'm seeing the hermit here as well. So you're definitely going to go within and think about whatever this is. I'm also seeing the high priest here as well. So we have both the high priestess and the high priest out here, okay? Yeah, you're definitely going to receive some type of message, news, information, or communication as it relates to this offer, proposition, or proposal, okay? This is going to come in very swiftly, okay? It's going to be like um, a very quick, fast, sudden, immediate uh communication that you receive just to clarify the high priestess why is the high priestess here why is the high priestess here oh goodness whatever communication you are receiving this has to do with a large amount of abundance a large amount of money That was the ten of coins that flipped up. Oh my goodness. And now you have the ace of coins here. Okay. So now you have the six of coins, ten of coins, and the ace of coins here as well. Something definitely, whatever is being offered to you, a large amount of money comes along with it or, or something. Yeah, some type of offer is being made here. This has to do with some type of gift of generosity or abundance or what have you. Very swift, fast communication is coming in about a large amount of abundance here, okay? We have the Nine of Cups and the Temperance that flipped over together here. Definitely some type of hope, wish, or dream is coming true for someone here. 
The temperance energy is all about balance and patience and doing things in moderation here. This temperance energy could also be someone who is a, a light worker, a seer, uh, a star seed, a highly sensitive indigo, uh, a chosen one. Someone who I always get a sense of like goodness from the temperance card here. Okay, this is sitting under the high priest. Spirit, are there any other messages? Somebody may want to collaborate with you on something here. This offer, proposition, proposal, this swift communication could be coming from a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. This could be the reason why you, you, you're having to go within and listen to your intuition, follow your wisdom as it relates to a situation here, okay? Something has to do with some type of co collaboration for the purposes of money here, okay? I'm seeing the Ace of Cups on the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So this speaks to emotional fulfillment, okay? This also speaks to one's extreme feelings, overwhelming emotions, new beginnings, uh, and a multitude of other things here, okay? I'm seeing the Six of Wands here on the Hermit and the Nine of Cups here, okay? So I feel like you're really kind of going within. You're someone who I feel like is a natural introvert. You're usually like to yourself, by yourself, on your own, all alone, kind of secluded, isolated, you know, in, in solitude. You're not someone who's necessarily antisocial, okay? This is can either be your energy or somebody who is making you this offer here, okay? But I do kind of feel like this is your energy. This is the reason why you're kind of going within about something. Something appears to be a hope which a dream come true. Uh, something could definitely bring about some type of success, triumph, victory, or public recognition in some type of way. Let's try to clarify this high priest in the temperance. Why is the high priest here? What is this high priest energy? Something, whatever this proposition, proposal, or offer could be coming from someone who have hurt you, have betrayed you before, has been disloyal to you in some type of way. What is this high priest energy spirit with the temperance? I'm seeing the three of cups here. So the Three of Cups talks about indulgence, okay? Um, usually it's people coming together rejoicing in celebration. It just kind of depends on what else is going along with it. Something is secret though. It's like something is hidden. Something could be going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. Something's got whatever this is, this secret that's hidden, that's covered up. It's got somebody in mental conflict, stressed or worried here. Uh, somebody could be even ex be experiencing some type of heartache or heartbreak here due to some type of commitment, family, marriage situation here. Something you have something to do with, uh, I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I actually seen this Queen of Pentacles before I seen the Queen of Wands. So, yeah, because I'm seeing this Queen of Pentacles as some type of messenger here, okay? So, this Queen of Pentacles may be sending some type of message through someone else, or either this Queen of Pentacles and this Queen of Wands is working together on something. This communication could be coming in from either one of these people this offer of some kind but there is something that is hidden here like something mm, something is going on there's a lot of 
of this energy that's kind of like circling around in the air here, okay? A lot of people are talking about, oh, you're about to receive this, you're about to get that, you're about to get a gift, you're about to get a house, you're about to get a whole bunch of money. If you notice, a lot of people are talking about that today. But what, from what I have been seeing, whatever is coming towards someone, whoever it's coming from, these are the same people who screwed you over and tried to play you for a fool. These are the same people who got over on you, uh, hid something from you, stole something from you, or what have you. And it's like they're coming back around wanting to communicate with you, give you information, offer you things, or what have you, in an effort to, I feel like, to save face. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes when some shit is too good to be true, you know, when it seems like it's too good to be true, and it probably is. Especially coming from persons who it's outside of their character. They haven't done such a thing before. Because I'm seeing the moon here. I'm seeing the nine of swords here. The three of swords here. Four of wands. Page of wands. Ace of wands. Karma. Air sign energy here. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Whoever this air sign is. There could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini that's getting some type of karma. All these people involved, but this person is also like because there's a group of and I'm seeing a five of wands here with the death being here. There's a group of individuals who's like jealous, envious, and intimidated by someone here about something. So the, the this energy of what's in the air is like people coming back towards you, offering you something, giving you something trying to be generous to you giving to you doing for you or something like that but these are the same people who haven't been doing a damn thing for you who screwed you over in the first place the same people who were smiling up in your face while stabbing you in your back while hiding something from you taking something from you stealing something from you, whatever is coming back around because like something has shifted or changed and it's like something is indeed coming into somebody like a very large amount of abundance here okay you're getting some type of communication and it is about the ten of pentacles ace of pentacles okay this is a hope wish your dream come true for you you're showing your your you know what i'm saying and you're someone who's been doing things in moderation. You've been trying to maintain balance. You've been patient with, with these situations, okay? But it's like these offers is coming in for you. Offers, propositions, proposals, generosity, or whatever is coming from these persons who've been behind the scenes plotting against you the entire time. That's the reason why you see the moon at the bottom of the deck. A lot of things have been hidden. What did I tell you? I just started shuffling. The first card that flipped over was Thief with Expectation. These same people who stole something from you are sitting in expectation, have been sitting in expectation, waiting on something. Look at that adjudication, some type of judgment or decision to be made about something. Yeah, look, a gift. I can't make it up. These people are trying to steal something from you or already have stolen something from you. They've been sitting in expectation, waiting on some type of adjudication, some type of judgment pertaining to some type of gift here. Yeah, look, unexpected income. This gift has to do with unexpected income. That's that Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So the people who's coming to you with the Six of Pentacles, now they want to be generous and giving and act like that they was there for you. Yeah, somebody's about to get unexpected income in a house. This is the gift, unexpected income in a house. This is the judgment that is being made. These people are sitting in expectation trying to steal something. I do not like this card in this deck. This thief card here, you would think this is somebody who's sneaking away with some type of money or something like that or what have you. They, these people are definitely trying to steal that. But what you see here is a man and a woman luring this child away abducting a child in this card is what this card shows so they was planning to steal something from you 
abduct someone like your child or something like that while sitting in expectations or either they've been sitting in expect they've been planning to steal something from you but while sitting in expectation waiting on this judgment to come down pretending to this gift this unexpected income in this house here mm -hmm. yeah a thief is sitting in expectation waiting on this adjudication waiting on the judgment to come down about this gift this unexpected income in this house here somebody somebody amongst these people whoever is coming in and is being generous and giving to you yeah look a mature woman this could be a mother, a grandmother, or aunt. This is a mature woman, though. I guarantee you, whoever this woman is, there's a six on this card. This per this woman might be 60 years or older. She's definitely older than 50. Whoever this mature woman is is in despair because she's a false person. She's fake, phony, fraudulent, untrue, lying, cheating, deceiving, manipulated, con artist. She's been wearing a mask, closing herself, not who she appears to be. Okay? She's a false person, and she's facing imprisonment about something. I'm seeing main female in change here. You've been working hard. About to become a privileged lady. Could be moving on. A marriage is coming true, coming in for you. A courtship with, with a mature man. Okay. Something's very significant to a main male that's in your family here. I'm seeing main male, family room, wealthy man. See, courthouse and message here and thoughts. So some type of, uh, something has been going on in a court of law. And some type, somebody's about to receive some type of message, news, information, and com communication. Somebody all up in their thoughts and in their head about this situation. That's what I'm telling you. Regardless of who being kind and being nice and want to be generous and giving unto you, it's some other shit going on. Yeah, whoever it is that's giving you some type of offer proposition or proposal, sending you some type of swift, fast communication, this could even be coming from more than one person. A fire sign and an earth sign. Women. They are thieves, though. This is the reason why you are having to listen to your intuition and follow your wisdom and your guidance on your spirit guides on this situation. These people know... Whatever this Ten of Pentacles is, is coming to you. Now these people want to come in, offer you something, be generous to you, collaborate with you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, see, because this judication has been, this judgment has been made. Mm -hmm. This has to do with a gift. Unexpected income in a house. Mm -mm. There could be official persons involved. Yeah, I'm telling you, whoever this mature woman is, is a false person. And this person could be facing imprisonment. This person is in despair. Something is significant to your child or a child. Somebody in concern. I'm seeing concern. Family room, great fortune. That's all they concerned with. These people still don't be more care about you than the man on the moon. They worried about this great fortune. It's all about this set and wealth here. These people are trying to steal from you. Yeah. This, um... There's someone who... Somebody died that was in high honor. Some type of messages of... We got message of concern and concern here child official person you were the child of this official person who was in high honor that passed away this almost seems like it, this uh sounds like the reading the first reading that i did 
but there's some other energy that's coming out here it's a little bit different like i'm getting some of that energy but it's a little bit different because you've got people coming towards you i'm talking about people who have neglected you who have abandoned you who have left you out in the cold who did you wrong left you hanging drove your name through the mud kicked you while you was down stabbed you in your back these are the thieves you're getting ready to get offers and proposals and propositions from these people. Swift, fast communication going to come in from all these people. This is the reason why you got to listen to your intuition when, when, when these people start coming towards you. They're going to be very giving and generous now all of a sudden because they know that this is coming in for you. This has to do with sudden wealth. I'm telling you. And some type of change that's coming through. That is happening. This mature woman here is in despair. Because they are a false person. And I don't feel, you see that man back there? I don't feel like this, this mature woman works alone. Whatever's been going on and whatever they've been doing, especially with them coming out as thieves, they could be facing in prison for it. So you got a lot of people coming back towards you that's trying to, I feel like, save face. You know what I'm saying? Doing so in an effort to defend themselves or protect themselves or, you know what I'm saying? Act like they're being kind and generous to you. Like they actually care about you and all this other kind of stuff when they done left you hanging all this time. That's what's going on here. Spirit, any other messages? Look at that money. These women have either already stolen some money from you because they came out as thieves. Or either they're 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 trying to get back close to you. So when you get whatever this large amount of abundance is coming in to you, they're planning to steal it. These are your enemies. You could even have an ex-lover coming back towards you. I'm seeing lover and enemy here. You could have an ex-lover coming back towards you. Or this is a new lover. But they get enemies. They with the odds. Sir, what's going on? Messenger, okay? You're receiving some type of message, just news, information, and communication. Yeah. All kind of people. These people are all up in their head, all up in their thoughts about this situation here. Folks is in despair. So we're going to clarify the Six of Coins, Ace of Coins, Ace of Cups. I told you this has to do with a fortune. Be very careful. There is some type of, there is a, either a past lover or a new lover that's coming in towards you that cannot be trusted. The only reason why this person is popping up is because you're coming into some type of money. A new home. And different things. This person will have you in sorrow. Spirit, clarify the Hermit, Nine of Cups, Ace of uh, Wands. A gift. That's sitting here twice. That's sitting here on gift. Give us one more, please, Spirit. Give us one more. Letter. You're definitely receiving some type of communication here. Spirit, who is this high priest with the temperance, house, unexpected income, and... Mm -mm. I'm seeing scholar in prison. Somebody who's a scholar could be in prison. Is this high priest in prison? This is weird. A scholar is someone who is very knowledgeable, smart, uh, sophisticated, educated, degree having, or someone who is just very skilled. Um, you know, they have a specialized training in whatever it is that they do. Okay, guys, I apologize about that. Um, 
I had to get up and open the door. My daughter got back home quicker than I thought she was. Oh, what have you. So, um, let's wrap this reading up and see what's going on. Spirit, clarify this. High Priest with the Temperance here. What's going on? So, we have Lord here. Whoever this High Priest individual is, this could be somebody in power, authority, of influence, or something. Um, this is very interesting. Young woman at the bottom of the deck here. This is kind of eerie to me because there's a lot of things that's hidden, that's secret, that's going on behind the scenes as it relates to this situation, y'all. Here, what else is going on? So something, there was some type of setup that went wrong. We got setup gone wrong here, okay? So there was definitely some type of setup that went wrong. There was also some type of betrayal that took place as well. Cruelty, sabotage. Uh, just loyalty, betraying type of energy that took place. What else is going on here, Spirit? I'm seeing don't trust them, okay? Whoever these persons who are involved, I feel like, I, I, that's what I'm telling you. Whoever these people who are coming towards you with proposals and offers and propositions, okay? Who's sending you this communication, these are... The thieves that's been working against you this entire time. These are these false persons who tried to set you up here, okay? Who plotted, planned, and schemed to set you up, but they set up went wrong. These people stabbed you in your back. They ultimately betrayed you in more ways than one. And Spirit is saying, don't trust them. Okay? No matter who these people are, Spirit is saying, don't trust them, okay? But we, I see surprise here, okay? So you could be getting some type of surprise. You could be being surprised with something or be surprised uh, as it relates to something. Yeah, look at this. The whole family in on it. You may be surprised that the whole family was in on some type of setup. This could even be multiple family. Okay. Yeah, I'm even seeing something here about a dad be dad. Yeah, spirit, spirit is saying, listen to the words that comes out of their mouth. So when these people contact you, um, offering you things, okay, listen to the words that's coming out of their mouth. These people are hypocrites, spirit is saying. They're soulless beings who are demonically possessed. Spirit, what else is going on? Any other messages? Yeah, some of you could be hearing from a girlfriend. This could be an ex-girlfriend getting back in contact with you as well as others. I feel like there's more than one person. Okay? Somebody has been using magic to control your free will as well. Somebody's been casting spells on you. There's definitely been some type of corruption within the government as it relates to the situation as well. Spirit is saying. Some type of intimidation tactics could be uh, being used as well. Uh, Spirit is saying, okay? Sorry about that, y'all. Something, per something pertaining to they set up has gone wrong, though. Okay? Spirit, what else is going on? What else is going on, Spirit? Any other messages? Yeah, I'm seeing they don't care about us, okay? So these are persons who don't care about you, okay? I'm telling you, people are getting back in constant. Look, these people are being investigated. This is the reason why Spirit is saying don't trust them. This is the only reason why they're coming back towards you. They're being generous. They're offering you things, okay? 
Yeah, we got wicked witches here. Somebody amongst them may call themselves being a wicked witch, okay? Yeah, spirits say these clowns way too cocky. They being investigated, so now they coming back towards you making offers, propositions, proposals, and different things. These people were trying to sacrifice you, okay? There could even be something pertaining to a sacrifice that is being investigated as well. Yeah, spirit wants you to stand your ground. That's the reason why I seen the high priestess here as well as the, the hermit here. Sitting and in between that is the six of pentacles. Whatever it is, these propositions, proposals, offers, these gifts of generosity, okay? Listen to your intuition. Follow your wisdom, okay? Um, but you can't trust these people, okay? And you're going to need to stand your ground. Something about this situation could make breaking news. These people could make breaking news. Yeah, see, didn't I tell you this is the reason why? These people, they about to get locked up for what they have been done. These people are wolves in sheep's clothing. They just putting on an act, Spirit is saying. They've been creating illusions, manipulation here, Okay. Be very careful. Somebody could be trying to poison you. Okay? Somebody has also been using some type of voodoo doll on you. Some type of legally funded government operations has been going on as well as it relates to this situation. Okay? Yeah, sell out. Stepping and fetching for the man. Okay? All of them wanted their hands on this abundance, but this abundance is coming in. There's abundance and emotional fulfillment that is coming in for you, okay? Some of you could be gaining new employment or even popularity with some type of new employment. Spirit, what else is going on? <laughs> what else is going on? Somebody changed their will before they died as well. As it relates to the situation. Spirit, any other messages I need to share? These people were part of a murder. There was somebody, whoever the person who passed away and died, they were murdered. They were sacrificed, okay? They could have even been trying to do the same thing to you here. Yeah, be careful. Some type of mail theft has been going on. These people have been stealing your mail here, okay? They could even be trying to uh, steal your mail, uh, you know, continuously trying to steal your mail. That's a federal crime, okay? But I guess they wouldn't care considering the fact they commit all other type of federal crimes here, okay? Yeah, spirits say the information is going to leave, is leaving someone shook here. When you get this information, you might be shook. Again, Decepticons going to jail. These black wicked witches here. There was some type of cover up. These people are two-faced. You can't trust them. Somebody is in, uh, connected to human sex trafficking. Betrayal for the love of money. I'm seeing human sex trafficking. Betrayal for the love of money. Somebody involved in this is, is connected to human sex trafficking. What else is going on? Spirit say they tried it. Okay, but this is a whole scandalous situation. Something might be significant to some type of DNA testing. Okay? Yeah, you not they victim. You a survivor. I'm seeing I'm a soldier. Somebody, something is significant to somebody being a soldier. We got family secrets here. Shh. Liars, cheaters, and thieves. Be careful about the people coming towards you, making you offers and proposals. Because I'm telling you, all of these people 
where, look, all of them people are in some type of contracts, okay? All of them people are envious of you. All of these people have been hidden enemies of yours, okay? They are now being haunted by the situation. There's conflicts, confusions, and competition, okay? And be careful of a low vibrational op that's coming into your life to gaslight you and weasel their way into your life, okay? Spirit say you got fake phony Christians pretending to be of righteous when they're sellouts and devils. And now somebody put a spell on you. Evil is as evil does. Toxicity here. These people got bad juju on them. Spirit, are there any other messages? I'm seeing here the hate is real. The hate is real. These people were showing you hate at one point in time. They get mad and hate you when they can't control or manipulate you for their own ill will. A narcissist need help. Spirits say they're going to pay with their life for what they have done. Somebody's been gaslighting and in, uh, uh, I'm seeing gaslighting and emotional manipulation here. So somebody's been uh, gaslighting someone, gaslighting you, using some type of emotional manipulation as well. Yeah, look, backfire spells. Them spells is backfiring. Yeah, they did all of this to a chosen earth angel. You're a chosen earth angel. This was organized crime spirit is saying you got sisters or brothers who are involved in this situation here. These people belong to some type of satanic cult. They're doing some type of ritualistic practices. This may be your sister or your brothers who is a part of satanic cults or other persons involved here. There could even be some lying politicians who is involved in this situation as well, Spirit is saying. Somebody with royal status was switched at birth. Something about being switched or taken or something like that. Switched at birth royal status, I'm saying. Some type of human experimentation was also done. Yeah, look at that. Targeted individual is in the reverse. So you've been being targeted, but this targeted individual is in the reverse. Okay? Spying. You are a targeted individual and they were spying on you. These people can't target you anymore. They can't spy on you anymore. And you loving yourself, Spirit is saying. You endured a lot of abuse from these people, mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically. Some of you all may even experience sexual abuse, okay? Yeah, did not tell you they're plotting to rob you. They know that this large amount of abundance is coming to you here. These people that's trying to get back in your good graces and get close to you, coming in to be generous to you and offer you things and different shit now, it's only because, remember the thief card that came out on them? They're trying to steal this from you. That's why spirits say don't trust them. Okay, so I hope this gave you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you are dealing with or pertaining to a situation that you may notice someone else is dealing with if you are cross-watching. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who's interested in donating to the channel, um, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign to diamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at a 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So, y'all, watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you, or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am...
that I am created in the image of God.